Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith from Storyville Photography, and today I'm going to be editing this image of this cute little lion driving a car. Just kidding, he wasn't really driving, he wishes, but this was just pretend. So this is where we started, and here is where we will finish, before and after. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is run this image base. I run this on all of my images, and if you've watched my other tutorials, you are probably sick of hearing me say that. It darkens edges, it adds contrast, brightens some colors, and adds some light to the image. For this image in particular, I'm going to turn the brighten off, off. I want the background to stay a little bit darker, and I'm going to click into the darken edges, make sure the lightest part is over my subject. Maybe scale that in a little bit more. Let's see, and that looks good to me. Turn that down just a little bit. Okay, perfect. So this is the after and before. It darkened the skin a little bit, but don't worry about that. We're gonna get to that in a little bit. The next thing I'm gonna do is run this perfect plum. It will take these really drab colors um, that is my vehicle and turn it into something a little bit more special for this lion. So I'm going to hit the play on that. Soft white brush, 100% opacity, and paint it on the areas where I want it to take on this purple tone. Over the seat, the hood, get into the background there. If you're doing this for a client, zoom in, mask well, steering wheel, okay, and that looks good to me. I like how dark it is at the bottom of the car and off to the mirror, but I think this needs to brighten up just a tad, so I'm going to take a black brush and about 50-40% opacity, brush it off just a little bit, and that looks good. So that's before and after we added the tone. Next, I'm gonna go and grab my sun flare. Um, it's my favorite, I use it on all of my image, well not all, but a good majority of my images. And paste that in there, hit the screen mode, and put it to where it looks like the light is coming through the window. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of Gaussian blur to it, 28% there. And I'm going to mask this off of the lion, which is my cute little son. And I'm sure if you've watched my other tutorials, he is all about having his picture taken lately. I'm so lucky, so you'll be seeing him quite a bit. Mask a little bit off of here. There, that looks good to me. So that's the before, and it's after. Just makes it look a little bit more dreamy. I really like the look of it. Now that we have our tones down, we're going to work on brightening up this little cutie. Zoom it in. I'm going to go into the Storyville Retouch, and I am going to brighten the skin and eyes. Take a soft white brush. 100% opacity, because you can always adjust after, and oh, that's a little bit too close. I'm not going to be super concerned about retouching the hand. Um, the light flare kind of falls over that, and I think it did just the right amount of light to the skin. Crank that down. That looks good to me right there. We'll brighten up the size. And the catch lights. Looks like he's got quite a few different ones going on there. It's a really bright sunny day, um, probably in the afternoon, but he was in the open shade and inside of our vehicle, safe and sound, no keys were in it at this time. See, that's, oops, let me zoom out, before and after. Next, we're going to give his cheeks and lips a little bit more color. 
So I'm going to run the rosy cheeks and lips. And I'm going to do the rosy red down here. Soft white brush, 100% opacity. A little bit over there. He's going to look like a clown for a hot minute, but we will tone it down. That looks good to me, just enough. Okay, he has uh, naturally blue eyes, but they get a little washed out here, so we're going to add a little bit of color to them. Um, so I'm going to play the color enhancement. Go into here. Select the blue eye. 100% opacity. White brush. Make sure it's soft. And we're just going to color the eye in. And we'll tone that down quite a bit. Oops. That looks good to me. Okay, looking at this image as a whole, it looks like it could use some more color pop. So I'm going to go back down to the image base, our very first action, click on the color dazzle, and just turn this up a little bit. That looks good to me. Made all the difference there. Okay, next I'm going to run the Dodge and Burn. This is in the freebie section on my website, so feel free to download it. I like to use it at 8%. And run over the highlights with the soft white brush and the shadows with a black brush. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this. We're just going to trace over some of these highlights here, really make him pop. And over the cheeks. And his chin. Now, I feel like I should mention there are two different areas where if you want to separate the dodge and burn into um, just dodge, just burn, uh, you can do that. I just kind of work in one. Now I'm going to switch over to the burn, his eyebrows, his lash line. Right in the center here, off to the side. And then I think I want to run it over this a little bit. Where did we go here? Did I do it in there? Yep. So before and after. Before and after. Okay guys, I think we're done here. I'm going to group this together for you so you can see the before and after. So this is our finished product and before. Where we ended and where we started. Thanks for watching, guys. You can find all these actions at storybuildphotography.com along with the gorgeous sun flare. Have a good day. Bye.